All right. Good morning, Bob. This is Justin from Team Hillsdale Chrysler. We just got off the phone uh, talking about this Jeep. Here's the video rundown. I'm going to run over the spots that you're looking for, pop the hood, check the engine, everything like that. So we'll just get started. We've got a limited time on the camera, so we'll see. First off, um, got the front fog lights. Now, this Jeep, I know I mentioned that it has the air ride suspension in it. And what it is, is you hook an air compressor up to this, you pump it up, and then from within the vehicle, you can let it down again, you know, raises and lowers the center of gravity. To do that, you got these little nozzles here on the front bumper. So you can pull them off. So there's one, and it's, uh, if you look underneath, right there, that's one of the bags that's for the front, and the tube runs through here. Oh, there's my finger. Runs through there. Now over on the other side, there's your rears. You can see if you look down in there, there's the tubing for it. So other than that, it's got, you know, chrome grill, that's aftermarket, and then this little, let's see if you can see it. It's about, there we go, yay big. Bloop. The extra bars right behind there, that's an actual aftermarket radiator. That's your transmission cooler. So when he retooled the transmission to order for a lower gear, so when you're driving down the road, he put in an intercooler to help keep it cooled down when it's running those higher gears. So there's that. Now as far as the hood of the car, see you put on these aftermarket vents and those do go down into the hood. Let me walk around this way for you. Alright, I don't know if you can no, not very well with the camera, but that actually does go down into the uh, compartment of the engine. Helps keep the airflow going, helps keep it cool that way. Um, they are functional, so they're open. Also, aftermarket rims got meteor tires on it, so there's a little bit more road noise than just your standard driving tire, but you can also have a lot more capabilities too with these guys. And you can see that it's got great tread on there still. Real thick tread. Aftermarket shocks. So. Now you were mentioning the rust on the hinges. There's a little bit of rust, not too bad. Right, there's that one. There we go. Now the mirrors, the reason the paint isn't coming off is because they're aftermarket plastic mirrors. So there's no paint to come off. Um, another big feature are Jeeps, not only the window hinges, the door hinges too. If you take a look, there's a little bit of rust inside. This one's starting to go. See, there's rust there. There's a little bit of rust there, but overall there's no rock chips on the vehicle, no extreme rust. There's a little bit of paint right there going on. So we open it up, and of course you can take the doors off a of Jeep, you just undo that strap. Take the bolt out of the uh, hinge, drop it out, and the door comes off. And you look down here, and other than you know, getting in and out of the vehicle wear, there's no rust or anything down there, which is pretty spectacular. Hard top, you can see in there. Um, it's got the sound bar, so she can listen to her tunes when she takes off the uh, roof here. Uh, we'll get into the vehicle here in a second. I just want to kind of highlight the outside. Here's your tire again. So, hard tops been pretty well taken care of. Um, there's a little bit of plastic right there going on, but other than that, there's that way to go. Um, light bar. I don't know if you want to keep that on, but it's actually bolted right into the vehicle. There's some rust around the washers. But this is uh, stainless steel, and so are the bolts there. But so I can get the camera to focus. That goes right into the vehicle itself. Going around the other side. These hinges back here, dirty, but not really rusty. This one's got a little bit of corrosion right here. You can see the paint starting to bubble. Um, aftermarket exhaust tip. You can see the rear bag and the rear shocks. Aftermarket there. Trailer hitch, if you ever wanted to tow anything off to school, should be all set to go. Um, Harley Davidson, I guess he had a Harley. Let's open it up. There. Now you can see the chrome on the lip. Oop, geez, there's the camera. Sorry, let me try that again. Chrome on the rib, it's got some flaky to it. But it's, uh, what that is, it looks almost like aluminum foil. See, there we go. It's the aftermarket piece. So, you put that on there after you just pull that off, that's no issue. There's the back door, you got dent there. Not really noticeable except for the camera. There's some scratches. Um, there's the carpet. Uh, there is trailer tow. Plug your trailer right in, see? And it comes right out for that. Tuck that away. Got aftermarket bumper. Now these have been, uh, oh, what's the word? The bed liners, rhino line or whatever. That's been right aligned, so they're not going to have any rusting from there. Um, aftermarket 
tow hook so you can pull yourself out if you ever get stuck in a ditch. Right there. There's one there. That's attached directly to the bumper. When the window comes up, window works just fine. Back seat. Um, it does have covers on it. And I'll show you that here in a second. Back seat looks pretty good. Roof looks pretty good. No leaks or anything there. And then you notice, I don't know if you can kind of see, you take off a couple bolts and the hard top comes off. And all that's left is this frame. And you have yourself an open Jeep. You can take the doors off. You can keep the top off. If you're driving down the road, absolute freedom. That's I love doing that with Jeep. Let's see. Still going along the vehicle. No... Nothing that I notice. And there's more of that aftermarket flashing again that's kind of flaky. Um, we've got rain guard, and that's cool too. I like running that. Uh, driving down the road, sometimes you have the window open and it's raining, but it's not really blowing in the window, but it's dripping in. That helps protect care of that. So here's your mirrors. Now here's the frame or the hinges on there. Some rust there. Some rust going on there, which is standard for all Jeeps. A little bit of rust in the windowsill there. No, nothing too big. Open it up. Now, these seat, they're seat covers. They're stapled to themselves, but they're not stapled to the seat. So I don't know if I can... Let's see. Let's see. Nope. I don't know how I can get those off. The seat's in excellent condition. But, uh... Anyway, it's vinyl seats. Um, got the aftermarket neoprene. That's really soft, too. It's like really soft, comfortable seating on there. Now, inside-wise, you're looking for wires. There is to put down the uh, air ride suspension. So when you do that, you just hit these buttons, and it'll pop it off. So that lowers the vehicle, and then the wires, you kind of wire, and they kind of disappear, and then they come out over here. So when you look in the vehicle, there you go. And then the light bar, you put the light bar himself on, and this is a wire that goes up into the roof it comes out here, goes up into the bars, and those are your switches. So that lets the, them run, but looking from the side, there's the light bar there. Other than that, pretty well taken care of. Here's the keys I was talking about. Those are actual Dodge Viper keys, he uh, blanks that he cut for the Jeep, so he loved this thing. He really did take care of it pretty well. There's no stains on the carpets, no sticky pop or anything like that. The plastic we put in there for our feet. So, really clean. There's the interior of the Jeep. All right. I'll go around to the front. Take that one off. Take that one off. Let me see here. I'm going to put the camera down. Right there. Okay, here is the engine. Aftermarket air intake, right into there. Engine otherwise looks pretty clean, normal engine. Um, let's see if I can focus in on everything else. Now, down here, if you can see it right there, that's for the air ride suspension. That's all that red looping, that's all the extra tubing. There's your horn. So, right in there, that's it, with the tubing wrapped around it. That's your stuff. So there's the intake. Manifold looks clean. Fuel rail system looks clean. Going through. Aftermarket radiator, keep the engine cool, help keep it cool. And this is the wiring for the bar and the pumps for your air pumps. And transmission um, intercooler all goes into the computer, so it's already wired for you. You don't have to worry about that if you're going bad. There, through there. All right. So that is the engine compartment. Hopefully I got everything there. Now with this video, feel free to pause it any time. That way you can take a harder look um, at any of these engine shots. Maybe you can see something that I'm missing. But everything looks, everything looks good. So there's the Jeep. Um, go ahead and take a look, Bob. Let me know if you think this might be the one. I'll drive it up there all the way to Wasso. We can drop it off even, say, tonight or tomorrow. That would be uh, perfectly fine with me. And you can take a look at this thing and kind of ride around for the weekend. And I'll get back with you first thing on Monday and see how it went and uh, if this is the Jeep for you. So there is that.